you get a deal to do a pilot and you what's your relationship with Larry David at this point? We weren't hangout friends. We were in the bar at Catch a Rising Star friends. Uh, whenever he was there and I was there, we would always have a chat. It was instantly hilarious every single time. And I thought, I would like to do a show that sounds like that. That right. sounds like me and Larry talking. A anecdotally, you went on vacation this summer on a boat right. with Larry David yes. and Chris Rock, Amy Schumer, right. Judd Apatow. Right. Judd told me that you and Larry would talk and him and Rock would lean over <laughs> to try to hear it. Because <laughs> it was like, you know, it's like even the Curb finale mm -hmm. a two shot of you guys is like mm. yeah it was good S something something that like yeah it's just real it's just it yeah you got it yeah yeah always, um, it's always been there and he'd written a screenplay and he wrote four fridays apparently right yes yeah, but he, he wasn't he wasn't <laughs> an easy sell i'm betting in terms of I uh, want to Jerry Seinfeld's going to do a sitcom and he's going to do it with no at, at first it wasn't it wasn't difficult he, it was fun when you get into doing 22 26 episodes a year then it became a, a much more difficult but I'm saying like you you say I want to write it with this guy yeah and they're fine oh, with that no they were not fine with that yeah no and and you but had I said well that's what I'm doing well that's what I'm interested in is this I this spirit in you that goes, no, nah, it's this guy. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I'm going to do my, I'm, I'm, I have an idea about comedy. I'm going to do it this way. I have an idea about like comedy energy and I want to do it with this guy. And people go, no, don't do it. And you go, I don't know what to tell you. Right. And you've always just sort of been confident in that. And you'd rather, you'd rather, you would have rather lost with Larry than won with somebody more reputable of course no one ever faces that choice and nor did it matter to me because i just knew uh dave letterman i have to say gave me i told him i'm writing this pilot for nbc it was one of his uh, year-end uh, christmas parties or something mm -hmm. he said just make sure you fail doing exactly what you want to do he told me that and that's the best advice you can give someone going in this a big scary project make sure you fail doing it exactly the way you wanted because that you can live with yes that you can live with when it's someone else's idea that kills you that's hard hard to live with yeah that's you'll be homicidal yeah yeah and so the show gets picked up it's going pretty good yeah how did you like that process cuz i'm curious like i watched the show and it, I just think about having done a show. I just think about how hard the entire thing must have been mm -hmm. for you and Larry, but I would argue probably more you cause you have more stuff that you have to do. Yeah, I had more stuff, but I had Larry, right? I had Larry and Larry really, I don't know if he knew this stuff or he learned it as we were doing it, but he knew exactly what the hell he was doing from day one. And he was amazing at it particularly which stories to do, how to structure them. It took me years before I even got interested in that. I, I couldn't take, breaking stories just made me fall asleep. I didn't like stories. I'm sick of people talking about stories. You know, I want to tell stories. It's nauseating when people say, <laughs> I, I'm a storyteller. Oh, oh, shut God. up. Oh, God. So <laughs> what did you, how would you guys write it? He would figure out uh, the basic story structure. I would try to help uh, in the early years. I was not good at it. He was great at it. And when we got to the dialogue, that's where I was. We were good together. Together, we could we could churn out di the dialogue. So really that's fast. when it becomes the bar at the at the strip or right. Catch right. That's right. Like, and then I, ideas, when we, ideas. we need a funny line to end this scene. That's where I'm good. Great. You know. And probably in the middle and the beginning as well. Yeah. <laughs> but he was also great. He was no, no, no. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying like, I'm, and I'm not even trying to like discredit your, but I, but I just think about the process for you work wise. Are you, so you're watching casting with him. Yes. You're watch. you're We're going over edits, sets. Re every rewrite. We did every rewrite together. 
And that's just, just the you, two of us. Just you just and him in a room. Yeah. So you explained the process to me one time, but I want people to hear. Like you said, we just show up, five minutes of small talk. Right. I'm right at it. And just go. Go. You have a good weekend? Yep. Me too. Yep. Let's go. And There's then there's always you, a couple of funny stories. Sure. You know. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But and then you would just get into it. And we're talking about sixteen hour days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and are you meditating during the day yes i would instead of lunch i would do my met my tm and then i would eat while i was working great which That's people it. love yeah uh but it was just me and larry oh uh, right so yeah, yeah what are you gonna no problem yeah take your shirt off if you yeah. want. um and what do you think of larry when you see him meaning we Today talk or then uh then and it's now it's, it's what do you think i just think this is like your favorite dog or something you just you just your you you your heart leaps you know because i i just love him and i think he's a genius and he's you know curb your enthusiasm everybody got to see this guy that i had known all that time and then you see why this guy's so fantastic he's so funny you know yeah and what people did not understand and still don't really understand. And someone told me, Larry said it to them the other day, is how our two brains melded together mm -hmm. seamlessly. People think that, oh, he's the kind of darker, more cynical one. I'm the sunnier. With it. Maybe that's true, but in, we're actually. But I, th I, but I also think you're darker than people <laughs> think, and he's lighter than people that's think. That's correct. <laughs> like, well, like... You're, that's, that's the Brennan eyeball. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's the brand uh, that very few people have, of course. Yes, of course. In thank fact, you. Only it's, one. It's a yeah. It's a it's a it's an heirloom. Larry used to say it was always make me funny that I don't get enough credit for it as misanthropic as I am. Absolutely, I don't absolutely. get enough credit for it. <laughs> You're way darker than people would think. Yeah. Okay. So this show's incredibly hard. You'd get picked up for twenty episodes, and then he would hate it, right? Well, it's. It it's was inhuman. It's no. It's an Iron Man. It's like you're running an Iron Man every day, pretty much. We would write sixty pages in three days. Yeah, and it's all killer stuff. Yeah, and then once you do that once, that's the standard. Now we got to do it again times. next week. Yeah. No, I one time asked a friend of mine who was like a religious, my friend Bajan, who a religious Seinfeld viewer. I would go, "How many episodes were good?" And he was like kind of all of them well that's well the i right mean answer. yeah the true yeah we, like we did we did well but no yeah well he not, didn't the not, truth no. is he said 85 that's good yeah. yeah um i just was flattering you thank you it's called show business as well welcome that. have a seat I, I, i'll take it um but uh he leaves the show right and then what do you think when he leaves the show in terms of is it a bit of like a fuck all right this has just got harder it's gonna be different um, I knew it wasn't the right time for the show to end. And I thought, well, I'll have to learn some stuff here that I I'll, I'll have to I'll have to evolve. And what do you what do you remember the big evolution points for you in that regard? I really had to know which stories we're doing and which stories we're not doing. Um, whereas usually Larry would take care of that. Like, which ones are worth doing? Yes. Because writers are pitching you stories all the time. Yeah. What about this? What about this? What about this? And together, it was so easy for us Yeah. Uh, to pick the winners. Yeah. The same way, if you look at the bench of that show, you know, the actors that would come in occasionally. Yeah. When Patrick Warburton walks in, we don't know what this guy is doing, <laughs> but he's on the show. Yeah. You know, when Wayne Knight comes in. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be on this show. Yeah. A bunch. Nobody slipped through our fingers. Nobody. As because we're both stand ups. You yeah. you see it a mile away. Yeah. That guy's funny. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't yeah. even know what he's doing. Yeah. No, you absolutely <laughs> right. But you yeah. just know it. Definition of pornography. You know it when you see it. Correct. And Zero. Larry was amazing. Larry is the most disciplined worker. The most disciplined. More and he he more than you. More than you, me. More than me. He'd go in on Saturday, and I go, do you need me today? He goes, nah, I'll, I'm just going to play with this myself. You can come in tomorrow, you know. What a gift. Yeah. 
I mean, what a, for you, like yeah, to yeah, know, yeah. and then you get a script, a popping hot Larry David draft. Well, he wouldn't write a draft. He wouldn't. He, he would just, he would come up with an outline and we would write the draft. We always wrote everything line by line together. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.